Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath. I have to balance everything. And it is time for another mail video. This is going to be uh, opening packages and, and a letter sent to us from you guys, the Serial at Midnight community. So without further ado, Mike, I, I like to do mail videos with Bree, but Bree is unavailable right now. So I soldier on without her. She's here in spirit. So just know that anything that I open, I open on behalf of the team. So uh, just a heads up. This I'm not going to read this, but this is a, a letter that was written by Gary. Who Gary, if you see this, I just want you to know I got your letter. I read it. It is a handwritten letter. Gary's just kind of telling me what he likes, his collecting trends and habits. And I just wanted you to know, I got it, I read it, and I appreciate it, so thank you. Thank you for taking the time to, it's a three page handwritten letter, single spaced too. So it was very cool. Uh, then the other, next we have, you guys, this is, uh, this is a package from our previously anonymous benefactors. Uh, I'm, I think it's a, I don't think I have last names. I think I just, it's, it's Herman and Carol. If you've seen in the past, we've gotten a lot of uh, like burned DVDs. It'd be like eight millimeter versions of things that are burned onto DVDs. So that, that's where it comes from. So look at the, look at the care taken with this particular package. This is the King of the Rocket Men um, done as an homage. You know, that they're, they're, they're referencing my King of the Rocket Men uh, serials at midnight episode, which I, <laughs> that's, that's super cool. Uh, first of all, that they watched it is awesome. And second, that they have referred it back to me with King, like they, like we're part of the club now, you know, hopefully you guys have seen that too. Uh, I'll link, I'll link to it here. Heath link to your King of the Rocket Men serials at midnight entry right here. And we're back. Um, so let's see what we've got in this this batch of batch of goodies. Let's see. We have this as well. That's our address on it. If you want to send us a handwritten letter, that's where you would send it. Um, but let's see what is here. I'm going to go from the bottom up. I have not looked at these yet. I've By the way, I've opened these packages. Most of them, there's one on the bottom, this big box. I have not opened yet, but I know what it is. I just want to be a little bit prepared, you know, so like a dead rat doesn't fall out of one of them. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well. <laughs> so I have pre-opened a lot of these. Um, okay, Earth versus the spider. Let's see if this is, it's not open on the top, so I can't, I can't open it to see. Uh, probably eight millimeter, if I had to guess, it's probably like an eight millimeter version. Captive Wild Woman. I'm seeing a theme here. The monster and the girl. By the way, I, I don't remember the cat's name, but um, so my friend JB, who writes for fthismovie.net, uh, was he recently wrote an article where he brought up guys in gorilla suits, and there was like what I didn't realize is like in the 30s and the 40s, like all through the golden age of cinema, perhaps here, perhaps it's this guy, one guy was in that was like the go-to gorilla suit guy and i was like really so i've been watching thelma todd and patsy kelly from the let's see if i can I've, there's rearranged back here so classic flicks the classic flicks um thelma todd and patsy kelly comedy shorts from hal roach which are freaking hilarious they're amazing and there's one with a guy in a gorilla suit and i was like is it the guy and i looked it up on imdb it's the guy so I wonder if that guy, I wasn't prepared for this or I would have had his name. That's just, just off the top of the dome, you guys. Ooh, Blood and Black Lace. Okay, so what is this version? Um, Arrow's version, remastered DVD. Okay, Blood and Black Lace. I just picked this up on um, VCI, a VCI Blu-ray, uh, Bava. It's Bava, right? <laughs> it's, yes. Um, Let's see. Cult of the Cobra. Very cool. I appreciate the time that goes into creating these. Just want, to, just want everyone to know that I appreciate the handcrafted nature of what we're doing here. The thing that couldn't die. Nothing human can stop it. Fantastic. And last, but certainly not least, all oh, you guys. 
this island earth i love this island earth one of my favorite movies i'm all every opportunity i get a chance to talk about how good this island earth is not ironically good not good to make fun of not good to put on that commentary that people like to put on and go ha ha ha, ha. no it's a really really good movie and for a long time it was like the standard sci-fi movie you have uh this island earth forbidden planet those were like your bastions of what sci-fi could be and then of course 2001 and then of course like star wars and all that stuff they kind of broke loose but the silent earth one of the best science fiction movies ever made so i'm sure there's something special about this it's the pal dvd i'm sure this is like uh it has writing on it i'm gonna see if i can see through here it's probably like eight millimeter or something like that i can't quite read it and i don't want to tear the packaging so we'll do it later we'll do it off camera but thank you guys so much a cat has joined the room the door is open and a cat has joined the room and it's the one that never comes around <laughs> and she's leaving okay uh this comes from arthur my man art who is my he's like mr dollar tree movies i don't know any of the thousands of people in the serial at midnight community i don't know anyone as dedicated to the Dollar Tree movie drop as Arthur is. He is a warrior for the Dollar Tree movies. And he always asks, every time he asks, is there anything you're looking for? And I'm usually not, right? Because I, I don't need more things to watch right now. I have such a backlog. And it's, it's, I'm not complaining. It's a good problem to have. But there's always like one. I think Brian Sauer from Rupert, Rupert Pumpkin Speaks... Um, just the disc podcast i think he said this recently on twitter maybe so i'm get, i'm trying to give credit where credit is due but he said like most of the time i'm not interested but there's usually one and he's right there's like one there's one maybe two that you're like what is that doing in the dollar tree movie drop so arthur's always looking out for me and i don't we had this conversation about something i don't remember what it was i was like well if you see so and so let me know and pick it up for me so we've we've done some trading back and forth but He's given me far more than I've returned, <laughs> so I have to do, I have to do something about that. Uh, let's see if I can remember what it was. Okay, so we got Steven Seagal, attrition, nutrition, no attrition. <laughs> what year is this? Um, 2018. Hey, it's Echo Bridge, and it's from 2018. People ask me a lot, "What's up with Echo Bridge?" I don't know. I don't. I didn't think Echo Bridge was around anymore. But here's a 2018 disc, and it's uh, it's Steven Seagal, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. So I'll have to see what's going on with Echo Bridge and, and do some research. Let's see what else is in here. We got two other discs here. Kofi Kingston WWE collection of Kofi Kingston. That's cool. What matches are on here? Kofi Kingston versus Chris Jericho from the Night of Champion. You see what I did there, wrestling fans. Uh, June 29th, 2008, we have Kofi Kingston, CM Punk, Ted DiBiase, and Cody Rhodes uh, from 2008. We have Kofi versus CM Punk versus Mark Henry versus MP3. I'm not even going to finish this. Christian Kane, uh, 2009. Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton, 2009. And Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler, 2011. What year is this collection? These are all old... Okay, this is 2012. I was like, what about like the New Day? This is all pre-New Day Kofi. So that's cool. Thank you for picking that up for me, Art. This is the one. This is the one I asked for. I was like, what is that doing there? And I didn't even know what it was. I had to look it up. The Wrestler. Not Mickey Rourke doing drugs and... Uh, 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 allegedly. In the movie, he does drugs. So, okay. Not, not doing steroids in real life. No, no, no. Um, not that movie with Mickey Rourke. Uh, this, like, I've never heard of this, but it's got freaking Ed Asner in it. What in the world? Listen, Ed Asner, Lord James Blears, Superstar Billy Graham, what? Dick Murdoch, Dusty Rhodes, it's Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, baby. Stick out, reach out your hand. Hard times, hard times. Vern Gagne. Holy cow, Vern Gagne is in this. I don't even know that I, I saw that. So it is, a, this is from Echo Bridge again. When is this? 2001. Oh, so this thing is almost 20 years old since this came out. I, I've never heard of this movie. Um, I'm looking for, it's directed by Jim Westman and it had like 1973. 1973. Oh, so this is predating, this is the territory days. Um, I can't read the whole description because it's partially covered with a sticker, but this is 
going into the wrestling movie collection you know there's there's only so many wrestling movies i think we keep finding more there's no like grunt the wrestling movie that i didn't know about and uh that came out and i checked that out and i was like well it's not good but you know it's part of the collection it's part of the knowledge you know um and there's um what is the 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 david arquette movie rumble it's not rumble in the bronx that's jackie chan ready to rumble that's it um but i mean this is uh, what's the there's hulk hogan with um <laughs> no holds barred i'm really tired can you guys tell like i'm a little bit a little bit on fumes right now and it's a very gray very cloudy very sleepy kind of a day and i was like let's do a video so if i seem a little bit slower if i seem a little bit slower that's why um, but this comes from all this before all of that. We're talking in 1973. So this is going to be pre WWF pre Jim Crockett promotions, man, the seventies, this is like old, old, old school. So it's amazing to me. We got a 1973 movie with Dick Murdoch, Dusty Rhodes, Billy Graham, man, 1973. He would have been working on the Mary Tyler Moore show at that point, right? It's peak, peak Asner. Arthur, thank you for finding that for me. I'm super excited about it. Hopefully you can tell. I'm actually re I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. Uh, this package comes from Feras. And uh, Feras is actually a Patreon supporter now. I think that this was sent before Feras joined Patreon for, for Patreon support. But uh, this came up on a live stream and he had asked if I had it and I did not have it. So he sent it to me. You guys, it's the complete sharp the what is it the sharp classic collection this is the sean bean who did have a big career before game of thrones i know it's hard to believe he was around for decades before game of thrones sean bean a freaking golden eye right uh but sean bean as sharp a what is the war here it's it's some war um the Napoleonic Wars, that's what it is. Sean Bean is Sharp, a troubled outsider who followed an heroic act of bravery, finds himself, follow, hold on. Do I do it full British? I do it as Sean Bean. It is a gift. I won't do that. Sean Bean is, is Sharp, a troubled outsider who following an heroic act of bravery, finds himself promoted to the rank of officer. In this definitive collection of the acclaimed drama following his breathtaking adventures, commanding the King's rifles during the Napoleonic Wars, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 films. Because these were films, right? Each one, it was a series. It's a series of books from Bernard Cornwell, who I really like. He wrote some great Arthurian fiction that is like hard to stomach. Like it's so gritty and and visceral. Um, like it disturbed me. Like one of his books almost gave me a panic attack because it was just so disturbing. <laughs> it's a true story. Um, that's an endorsement, actually, by the way. Uh, but this is uh, those sharps. Adapt the adaptations done by ITV. Was it ITV? Yes, ITV. 1993 to 1997. Uh, I haven't opened this up. Let's see what we got. Did I show you the back? There's the back. One does not simply walk into Mordor. I'm trying to think of Goldeneye quotes, but I can't really. Hello, James. <laughs> you know that famous quote, hello, James. Uh, ooh, these look good. Collection one. Collection two. See if there's any special features. I doubt it, but no, that's okay. These are going to be PAL as well, but I do have a region free DVD player. So no problems there. For us, thank you. So, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Thank you so much uh, for sending these. These are just up my alley. You know what I mean? Like this is, I love British television and British films as well. Like I'm a big Anglophile and um, I'm really excited to have these. So thank you very much. I, I very much appreciate it. Also, thank you for being a Patreon supporter. That really means a lot. Okay, we have but one package left. I have a knife here somewhere. Uh, I previously in our Toy Talk video uh, lamented my lack of Hold on, I'm trying to time this. I don't want to tip it before it's actually out of the, out of the box, straight out of the box. We're almost there. This is packaged incredibly well. This comes from Eric. 
and Eric saw, heard, viewed that I was missing but one figure for my Ghostbusters collection. My, my real Ghostbusters collection. And he found it for me. So if you saw the Toy Talk video, which I hope you did because toys are awesome, I had kind of... Hold on. I had kind of lamented that there was no uh, collector community, right? I was like, let's start a Serial at Midnight collector community because it's just so many rampant scalpers out there. And uh, this is the first step in the Serial at Midnight collector community. I, I should say, I was contacted by multiple people, and I do appreciate that. Eric just happened to have been the first one to have found it and gotten it in the mail. And it's still in the Walmart packaging. Fantastic. Here we go, guys. I'm being careful. Careful. Oh, my goodness. You guys. <laughs> Peter Vinkman. The the real Ghostbusters, Peter Vinkman. I haven't even... Let me look at him. <sighs> he does exist. He does exist. Wow. So, Eric. Thank you. So, Eric also became a Patreon supporter. I'm, was, I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to promote Patreon. He legitimately did. Uh, you guys are so generous. You are so thoughtful and so supportive, and it means so much. Um, I'm so happy. This, this is the collection. The, the other five, or I can't quite reach them, but maybe we'll do, we'll do a uh, video featuring all of these at some point. I had debated on opening them or not. For now, I'm not going to open these. They are reissuing them in December of 2020. So, hey, do you want the bubble wrap? Cat wants the bubble wrap. Uh, I may pick them up. I, I may see about pre-ordering them in December. And if I get those, maybe open those. or We'll just have to see. But for now, collection complete right there. So, guys, thanks for hanging out. For our latest mail video, thanks again to you for being just so dang awesome. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Just the, the, the warmth, you know, the, the generosity. It's very humbling. Thank you to everyone who sent something here. Thank you to you for watching this video. Guys, take care. And until next time, I will catch you later.